Hello, welcome to Escape the Box Piano. It's Dan here. In this tutorial we're going to look at One Republic's Counting Stars. I've already uploaded my piano arrangement to YouTube as a Synthesia piano playthrough. You can see that video, uh, look for the link in the description. And the piano sheet music is also available to those who support me on Patreon. Again, link in the description. This is a walkthrough to show you how to play that arrangement. Let's get started. Fundamentally, there are four chords that you need to know that underpin this entire song. The first is C sharp minor, and if we look at middle C, we can play C sharp minor as C sharp, E, and G sharp. Uh, the second chord we need to know is E major, and that is E, G sharp, and B. The third chord we need to know is B major, B, D sharp, and F sharp. And finally, the final chord we need to know is A major, A, C sharp, and E. Harmonically, those four chords underpin the entire song. So the structure's on screen now. We've got an introduction uh, that leads through into a pre-verse section. We've then got verse one, which goes into a pre-chorus. That takes us through to the chorus. After which we go into verse two. Then we've got another pre-chorus, goes through to a chorus, a bridge section, and then a final chorus. Looking at the introduction section first, let's look at the right hand. From middle C, let's go up an octave to the next C, then up to F and F sharp. We're gonna start there on F sharp. And the notes that we need to know are F sharp, G sharp, B, F sharp. Next, F sharp again, G sharp, F sharp, E, G sharp. Next, F sharp twice, then G sharp, A, G sharp, F sharp, E. G sharp, C sharp, E, and then C sharp. We repeat that. And to finish off the introduction section, G sharp, F sharp twice, C sharp, E, then C sharp, G sharp, F sharp twice, E and hold that and then E C sharp. Let's look at the left hand now. So if we start around middle C, we're going to move up to the C sharp with our fifth finger and second finger on the G sharp, thumb on the C sharp, an octave above, and we're going to play through those notes as a broken chord. So up and then down again, and up and down. Now we're going to move to a broken chord of E major. So we're going to keep that G sharp in the middle, except we're going to swap our third finger to it. Fifth finger comes to the E and thumb goes to the B. So again, that up down sequence. Now a broken chord of B major. So stretch the fifth finger down to B. Second finger on the F sharp, thumb stays on the B at the top. And finally, a chord, broken chord of A major, so everything moves down just one. Fifth finger on the A, second finger on E, thumb on A, an octave above. That entire sequence then repeats. And then one final round of that broken chord of A major. And then hold on the A. Hands together slowly, it looks like this.
speed on the record for this is 122 beats per minute. The introduction actually is a little slower than that, and it's when you get into the main part of the song that it speeds up. The introduction is probably somewhere around 100 and 110 beats per minute. I'll play that at speed. I'm not going to play every section at speed. You can look at the other um, video on YouTube to see that. And again, if you've got a pedal, as I say on a lot of my other videos, it really does add something, so please do use your sustain pedal if you have one. The next thing that I'm going to show you is the left hand because from this next pre-verse section on through the entire piece pretty much it's underpinned by a repeating bass line that carries all the way through. So from middle C if we go down an octave we go down another octave to the C below that, fifth finger on the C sharp, thumb on the C sharp above that, second finger on the G sharp and again it's kind of a broken chord and the pattern and rhythm looks like this. One, two, three, four. So get used to playing that rhythmically like that. Now the chord progression is from C sharp minor, so Major. So move your hands up, fifth finger on the E, thumb on the E above, second finger on the B in the middle. Now we're going, down, going to move to B major, so we'll move down for that. Thumb on B here, fifth finger on the B below, second finger on the F sharp. And then down to A major. A, A and E. So if we look at those four chords in sequence and looped, it looks like this. As you can see, in itself, that left-hand bass line it shouldn't be too challenging for you. Um, I would suggest you practice that over and over again. What is going to be challenging is locking that in rhythmically to what you're doing in the right hand. That's going to be perhaps a little bit tricky in places, but um, practice and you'll get there. Okay, let's look at the pre-verse that we've come to just after the introduction section. So from having finished in the right hand on E and then C-sharp, we're going to travel down to the middle C area and play C sharp, E and G sharp, so that chord of C sharp minor, four times on the beat. One, two, three, four. And then we're going to move that chord to E major. What we'll do is simply move our thumb to the B. So, uh, third finger and fifth finger are already covering E and G sharp, which are part of the chord of E major. Play that four times. Then to B major, again, keep the thumb on the B this time, second finger moves to the D sharp and fourth finger to the F sharp. Play that four times. And then A major, A, C sharp, E, four times. That's the first half of the pre-verse. Second half's a little bit more tricky this time. It's the same four chords. What we're gonna do though is play a little melody in the top part of the right hand whilst plodding along with the bottom half of the chords uh, in the bottom half of the right hand. So let's have a look at how that works. We're going to hold the G sharp down, playing the C sharp and E underneath it three times. The fourth time we play the C sharp and the E, we want to move to the B at the top, and then to the G sharp again. 
And now we're going to move down to the F sharp with our third finger and we're going to play the bottom part of the E major chord, so the B and the E. Three times. Fourth time again, B, G sharp. And then the B major chord, so F sharp at the top again, B and D sharp. So that was three times, and on the fourth time, again, the B and the G sharp. And now our chord of A major, but with an F sharp at the top, so just the A and the C sharp here. Again, you played that three times. As soon as you've played the um, A major chord for the third time, you're then going to use your fifth finger on the G, let go of the chord at the bottom, and then play the G twice more, holding C sharp underneath it, like that. Together, that looks like this. And at that point we're about to go into the first verse. Let's look at how the entire pre-verse hooks in with the left hand. You can see it's a real puzzle. It's going to take a lot of time practicing that at slow speeds, locking in the right hand and the left hand, getting really comfortable with that. Be assured when you speed it up, when you get comfortable with that, it starts sounding like it makes more sense. Okay, let's look at the verse then. So we just left off with, and of course that's the um, upbeat into the next bar, and so right hand, thumb on C, fifth finger on G. Hold the C down, play the G twice more quickly, and then again repeat the C, the G three more times. Okay, now we're moving to our chord of E major. Again, the bottom part of the chord stays fixed. It's the top part, effectively, that's moving and replicating the vocal melody line. Let's play that once more. Okay, onto our chord of B major. Again, the top part of the um, hand is playing the vocal line, the bottom half is just holding down a note. B, hold that down. So, G sharp, F, E, C sharp. Play B again, and then G, F sharp, E. Thumb down to the A, and G sharp at the top. F sharp, E, C sharp. Play the A again, G sharp on the top, F sharp, E, G sharp. And that goes round in a similar way. Chord of E major, B and E. Now to our chord of B major, keep the B at the bottom. slight wobble there, I'll just repeat that measure. And then thumb to the A.
and then moves to the pre-chorus. Let's look at that tied together, so the entire of verse 1 from that upbeat, um, so we've had Straight on then to the pre-chorus, so around middle C, we've just left off with... Okay, we're going to go to the C sharp and the G sharp here. Play that twice, a third time, and then C sharp and E. You're going to jump your hands to your thumb on the E and your fifth finger on the C sharp at the top. And then... Thumb still on the E, fourth finger now on the B. Lift, jump, thumb on the B, uh, fifth finger on the G sharp. Okay, the thumb is now going to stay on the B and we're going to play four notes above that. E, F sharp, G sharp. Okay, now a chord, so B, D sharp and F sharp. Replay the B and the D sharp and then play that three more times. Now a chord of A major, A, C sharp and E. Play the A and C sharp twice more. And again, and then B. And that repeats. So there, you then play the C and the uh, C sharp and the A again, again, and then again, again, and you're going to alternate between that and B. Take it up the octave, so A, C sharp, B, A and C sharp. A little bit of a pause, one beat rest. Okay, now, C sharp, B, F sharp, E, F sharp, but with your fourth finger now, G sharp, F sharp, E, and then C sharp, and then B. And now we're going to go into the chorus, which starts on C sharp and F sharp. Let's look at the entire pre-chorus now with the left hand.
the chorus at that point. Let's take a look now at the chorus. So we're on C sharp and F sharp. So you're going to play the C sharp. Hold your thumb on that. We're going to play that four times with F sharp above it, and G sharp, and B, and F sharp. Thumb now moves down to the B with F sharp, G sharp, F sharp E. Back to the G sharp, and then play the B again. Chord of B major, B, D sharp, F sharp, twice. Hold down the B at the bottom, and then G sharp, A. G sharp, F sharp, E. Thumb moves to the A, G sharp above it. C sharp, E, C sharp. That then repeats. This time as you move your thumb to the A, G sharp, above, F sharp twice, C sharp, E, C sharp. We now do the same thing but one octave up, so um, where we were on C sharp here, we're going to move an octave up to C sharp here. Exactly the same notes. And then, as we move our thumb to the A, G sharp, F sharp, G sharp, F sharp twice, E, and then we finish the verse and go into the pre, uh, finish the chorus and go into the pre-verse at the same time. So we end up on G sharp here, and then E and uh, C sharp, and that's stars. And we're on the first beat of the first measure of the pre-verse at that point. At which point we need to jump down to our chord of C sharp minor. And so on, as you already know from the pre-verse section. Let's look at the whole chorus into the pre-verse with the left hand. up an octave. End of the chorus, into the pre-verse. And so on, as you already know from the pre-verse. 
Let's just take another focus around those bars where the chorus ends and the pre-verse begins. That's probably the trickiest part of the piece to keep the flow going where you have to jump quite considerably in the right hand and, and keep a kind of rhythm going there. Let's take a look at that again. So the last bar of the chorus and so on. So now you're into that section of pre-verse, which is exactly what you learned earlier in the tutorial. That takes you into verse 2. Verse 2 is effectively half of a verse 1. That takes you into a pre-chorus. Again, you've already learned this. And then into a chorus. Again, you've already learned the chorus. So we now need to look at the end of chorus 2, and that takes us into the bridge section. So how does that look? So we've got the end of chorus 2, G sharp with an E, C sharp at the bottom, and C sharp. Whilst holding the C sharp in your left hand, bring your right hand down, and the first four, uh, four or five notes of the bridge section are C sharp, B, G sharp, and then back up to the B, back up to the C sharp. Okay, now we're just going to hold down what's called a pedal, so we're going to a pedal note. Um, so the C sharp and the C sharp thumb and fifth finger here. And we're just going to hold that down in the left hand, and that's all that's going to happen. In the right hand, we're going to play E, D, C sharp, B, E, again E, and then D sharp, C sharp. That happens again. Replay the pedal note. This time we're going to play in third. So we're still going to play the bottom note. Above that we're going to play. And we're going to play that together in the right hand. It looks like this. Play that again in the right hand. Move the pedal notes to A. Just sounds quite interesting harmonically. Down to an F sharp pedal, same thing in the right hand. Back up to your pedal of C sharp. Finishing the bridge section off, we're going to play a chord of A major in the left hand, A, C sharp, E, A. Above that, C sharp, so middle C here, C sharp, B, F sharp, E, and now F sharp, A, C sharp, F sharp, and then F sharp above it, G sharp, and you're going to pause on that G sharp, and then F sharp, E. C sharp, B, and now we're into chorus three, so C sharp and F sharp. And so on. Let's look at the end of chorus two through the bridge section into the beginning of chorus three.
into chorus 3. So, after the bridge section you're into chorus 3. Uh, chorus 3 is exactly the same as chorus 2 and chorus 1. And then at the end of chorus 3 you go into the outro, which is effectively two rounds of the pre-verse. Let's just run through that. So, end of chorus 3. And then into the outro. you're done. So again, the entire structure of the song is on screen now. As I mentioned at the beginning, the link to the Synthesia playthrough is on, in the description, uh, as is the link to my Patreon site if you want to get hold of the sheet music to this. I do hope this has been useful for you. Please do give a like, leave some comments, subscribe to the channel for more great tutorial videos, and I look forward to seeing you next time.